Have you ever wondered why some people have high cholesterol levels while others don't? It's a question that many of us have asked ourselves at some point. And the answer lies in the heart of the matter, quite literally, our cardiovascular health. Cardiovascular diseases are on the rise and a significant player in this scenario is cholesterol. Now before we start pointing fingers let's clear something up. Cholesterol isn't the villain it's often made out to be. In fact, it's an essential fat that our bodies need to function correctly. It helps build cells, make vitamins and hormones, and even aids in digestion. But, here's the paradox. While we need cholesterol, too much of it can be harmful. When cholesterol levels increase, it can lead to a buildup of plaque in our arteries, narrowing them down and making it harder for blood to flow. This can lead to heart disease or even a heart attack. So, why do some people have high cholesterol levels while others don't? The answer lies in our biochemistry. Everyone has cholesterol, but the levels can vary greatly from person to person. Factors like genetics, diet and lifestyle all play a role in determining our individual cholesterol levels. And that's where the understanding of our body's biochemistry comes in. We're not just talking about the food we eat or the exercise we do. We're delving deeper into the very essence of our being, our DNA, nucleotides, and glucan. These three elements are crucial in understanding how our bodies work, how they process cholesterol, and how we can manage our cardiovascular health. By understanding these elements and how they interact with each other, we can harness their synergy power. We can take control of our health, manage our cholesterol levels, and reduce the risk of heart disease. So let's embark on this journey of understanding our bodies, our health, and our potential. Let's delve into the science, the biochemistry, and the heart of the matter. Because understanding our body's biochemistry, specifically our DNA, nucleotides, and glucan, can help us manage our cardiovascular health. Our DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, serves as the blueprint for our entire body. It's like an intricate roadmap, guiding the growth and development of every single cell that makes us who we are. DNA is a molecule made up of two strands coiling around each other, to form a structure we often refer to as the double helix. Each strand is a sequence of nucleotides, and each nucleotide carries a vital piece of information. And what exactly does this information do? Well, it's responsible for everything from our eye color to our height. But what's really crucial for our conversation today is that our DNA also plays a significant role in determining our cholesterol levels and overall cardiovascular health. You see, within our DNA are segments known as genes. These genes are essentially instructions for our body on how to produce different proteins. Some of these proteins have a direct impact on how our body manages cholesterol. For instance, certain genes instruct our body to produce proteins that help remove excess cholesterol from our bloodstream. But here's where it gets interesting. Our lifestyle choices can affect how these genes are expressed. Picture it like turning the volume knob on a radio. Certain behaviors, such as a high-fat diet or lack of exercise, can turn up the expression of genes that lead to higher cholesterol levels. On the flip side, Healthy habits like regular physical activity and a balanced diet can turn down these genes and promote the expression of genes that help manage cholesterol levels effectively. But remember, while our DNA does have an influence on our cholesterol levels, it's not the sole determinant, it's more like a starting point, and it's up to us to decide where we go from there. So, yes, our DNA does play a part in our cardiovascular health. But it's also important to remember that we're not just the product of our genes. Our choices matter too, and by making the right ones, we can steer our health in the right direction. Your DNA can influence your cholesterol levels, but it doesn't write your destiny. Let's dive deeper. Nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA, but did you know they also play a role in cardiovascular health? Now let's dive into the world of nucleotides. Imagine a tiny microscopic building block. This is a nucleotide. They are organic molecules that serve as the subunits of nucleic acids like DNA and RNA. Each nucleotide is composed of three parts, a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Together, these nucleotides link up in a specific sequence to form the structure of our DNA creating the unique blueprint that makes us who we are. But here's the fascinating part. Nucleotides don't just sit around twiddling their thumbs. They are active, dynamic and have a big impact on our health. They are involved in numerous bodily processes including energy production and cellular communication. Energy production you say? Yes indeed. Nucleotides such as adenosine triphosphate or ATP are key players in the energy transfer within cells. They help fuel our bodies, giving us the power to function and thrive. 
Without ATP, our cells would be like cars without gas. Beyond energy production, nucleotides also play a role in cellular communication. They help send signals within and between cells, facilitating essential processes such as cell growth, repair, and response to stress. This communication is vital for maintaining the health of our cells, including those in our cardiovascular system. In the context of cardiovascular health, nucleotides help ensure our heart cells are well-nourished, can communicate effectively, and have the energy they need to keep our blood pumping. They help keep our heart strong and healthy, which in turn supports our overall well-being. So, nucleotides, the building blocks of our DNA, also play a pivotal role in our cardiovascular health. But there's another player in the game, glucan. Glucan might not be a household name, but it's an unsung hero when it comes to cardiovascular health. Let's unravel the mystery of this simple sugar and uncover its profound impact on our heart health. Glucan is a polysaccharide, a type of carbohydrate that's composed of many sugar molecules linked together. It's found in various forms in nature, including in the cell walls of yeast, fungi, and certain grains like barley and oats. But what makes glucan a superstar in the realm of heart health? Well, it's all about how it interacts with our body. When we consume glucan, it forms a gel-like substance in our digestive system. This gel binds with cholesterol in our food and in our bile, a substance our body uses for digestion. This binding process helps to lower the amount of cholesterol that's absorbed into our bloodstream, effectively helping to reduce our overall cholesterol levels. But the benefits of glucan don't stop there. This powerful polysaccharide also plays a key role in regulating our immune response. It helps to modulate our body's defenses, ensuring they're not too weak or overly aggressive. This balance is crucial in maintaining our overall health and well-being. Furthermore, glucan can help regulate blood sugar levels, making it an essential part of any heart-healthy diet. By slowing down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, glucan can help prevent spikes in blood glucose and insulin levels, which can be particularly beneficial for those with diabetes or pre-diabetes. To sum it up, glucan is a simple sugar with extraordinary health benefits. From lowering cholesterol levels to balancing our immune response and regulating blood sugar, glucan is indeed an unsung hero in our quest for cardiovascular health. So, glucan, a simple sugar, can have big impacts on our heart health. But how can we use this knowledge? As we move forward, let's explore how we can harness the power of glucan along with DNA and nucleotides to create a synergy that promotes optimal heart health. Harnessing the synergy of DNA, nucleotides, and glucan can empower us to take control of our cardiovascular health. What does this mean, you might ask? Well, let's break it down. DNA is our genetic blueprint. It's what makes us unique. It determines everything from our eye color to our predisposition to certain health conditions, including cardiovascular diseases. Now, how do we harness the power of our DNA? One way is through genetic testing. This can give us a snapshot of our genetic makeup and help identify any potential risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Once we have this information, we can make informed decisions about our diet, lifestyle, and other factors to mitigate these risks. But what about nucleotides? These are the building blocks of DNA. They are essential for cell growth and repair, and play a crucial role in our overall health. We can support our nucleotide production by eating a balanced diet rich in proteins and vitamins, particularly B vitamins. And lastly, we have glucan. This is a type of sugar that's found in the cell walls of certain plants and fungi. It's been shown to have a range of health benefits including supporting heart health. Glucan supplementation can be a useful tool in our arsenal for maintaining a healthy cardiovascular system. So, how do we harness the synergy of these three components? It starts with understanding our own genetic makeup. Then we can take proactive steps to support our health. This might look like making dietary changes, incorporating more exercise into our routine, or even taking supplements. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person, might not work for another. It's about finding what works best for you, based on your unique DNA, and making sustainable changes that you can stick with long-term. And that's the beauty of it. We have the power to influence our own health. We can make choices that support our DNA, our nucleotides, and our glucan, and in turn, our cardiovascular health. We have the power to influence our cardiovascular health. It begins with understanding our DNA, nucleotides, and glucan.